everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This is our Let's Play series and today we are up to episode number 10. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So before we get started today let's uh, just to have a recap of what's going on. As you can see in front we have uh, bought some advertising for the garage so expanded the uh, garage out excessive gaming YouTube gaming since 2010 find us on Facebook and again the link is in the description if you have not already done so as you can see the garage itself has changed slightly we've got the uh, repair bench the walls have now changed we've got our lifter A with the path tester at the back there as we come backwards we've got a warehouse now because we have extended the garage somewhat got a second uh, garage entrance there we've also got yeah, a second car lifter and as you can see we have a uh, very classic car in as well this is the uh, 1929 uh, Lincoln uh, stock car status yeah the 1929 Lincoln stock i6 and the reason we've got this one in is because we uh, did record a video of uh, changing the garage up exploring the junkyards and barns and as we were going around the junkyard we come across the uh, uh, 1929 Lincoln stock i6 engine which uh, we really liked it is a mod that we've uh, downloaded off the workshop so you can get that one for free if you're interested so that's the reason we've got that we paid fourteen thousand pounds for it but uh, we've bought it as a bit of a project car it's missing a few bits and pieces etc windows um, we've got various parts done on it we've actually built rebuilt the engine completely we're using scrap parts from various cars but as you can see it's in a right old state so we're going to be uh, working on that maybe in another episode later today but anyway back to the uh, this let's play series yeah so we've expanded the garage out uh, so we've now got uh, quite a lot of space we've got two parking spaces for jobs we've got the two lifters obviously one's now been took up with that and we've got a uh, warehouse which means we can dump various parts so we've been doing uh, quite a few uh, jobs we'll open up the path tester for later on because I'm guaranteed we're going to need it but yeah so we've got uh, a few jobs done we've got some more experience and we've got various uh, parts uh, available to us that uh, we can use we've been scrapyard hunting for various parts as well we call it the uh, scrapyard you guys would call Americans would call it the junkyard so as you come over to the main entrance you've got the junkyard just here well, again we call it a scrapyard for old cars which is where we found the uh, Lincoln there but anyway back on with uh, today's episode episode number 10 I believe it is let's uh, right click orders Got this uh, Bolt Chapman as our story order up here. Uh, where is it? There it is. Bolt Chapman. Good afternoon. I had a small accident on the expressway. An 18 wheeler pushed me off the road. I know that the car does not look good, so great anymore. Does. I know the car does not look so great anymore. There we go. <laughs> but I cannot afford anything else right now. I just need it to run is the actual story order so we're going to take that one let's have a look at the state of it and what he's done to it blimey he's got doors missing on this side all the side is ripped off wheels are damaged dear oh dear so it looks like we've got uh, quite a job to do in fact our Lincoln probably looks in better condition than uh, this Bolt Chapman going to right click 
car status, see what we've got. Uh, we've got the main bits and pieces that need it running with the 100% condition. We also need to repair bodywork as well this time round. So, right click, uh, move the car, let's move it to uh, test path. As I said, I knew we'd be needing it. Let's start exploring what is wrong with it, of course. Proceed with the test path. So, blimey, we get it started, we'll pull forward. Slam on those brakes. Yeah, the brakes are knackered. Surprise, surprise on that right hand side. The question is what uh, parts will they want us to do here because if it's knackered and they ain't got a lot of money then uh, surely they won't want us to do those parts yeah some serious suspension problems etc upper suspension arm lower suspension arm calipers drums so yeah brakes are definitely going to need doing yeah, it's not looking too good. Uh, go to the car status. So we've got lots of parts that are still not discovered. Uh, da, da, da. Let's go to the overview here. Yeah, look, bits and pieces are orange. There's a few bits of red at the back. So I think what we'll do, let's move it back to. I'm going to move it to uh, garage entrance A. I'm going to run on out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off to the test track so I'm not sure if we've uh, been there before so we'll take it to the test track old Chapman and see what we can do with it of course this of course will uh, give us a bit more detail on the on the car tell us if uh, other bits are broken or missing not necessarily missing but uh, here we go acceleration test first up to 60 in 100 years. Round to the slalom test. Whoa. Keyboard steering for the win. So over the uh, suspension test. Not too bad. Round for the brake test. The steering's all over the place. Yeah, and as we know, the brakes are terrible. So, that should give us a few test results as well as we arrive back in the garage. Hopefully we should uh, load in pretty quickly. <clears throat> so yeah, what we're going to try and do later on in this, uh, well, later today, is get another episode of Car Mechanic out. That will be working on the uh, Lincoln. But uh, like I say, we'll come back to that in another episode. Back to today, an episode number 10. Here we are back in the garage. And as you can see, we've got front springs, rear springs, rear drive axle, leaf springs are all knackered, tie rods, etc. So if we come over to the car, right click and overview now, that's highlighted a lot more in red. Whoops, press the right button. So we're going to move the car off to lift A and make a start. So we've got quite some quite extensive work that's going to need doing today. Oh, let's get it up again. Get those wheels off. Uh, looks like the brakes, like we said, are completely knackered. So we're going to be buying an awful lot of parts for this one. Got 
wheel hub cap there looks a bit knackered. Take that wheel hub bearing out. And the wheel hub needs coming off because that uh, cover behind looks knackered. Yeah, that knuckle looks knackered as well. Take off the uh, sway link. Yeah, like I said, we've been doing uh, a few jobs. Take off the outer tie rod. We've been doing a few separate jobs in a tie rod. Double wishbone shock absorber can come out. Bottom arm suspension. And uh, yeah, so we've been gaining some experience, etc. Which is what's got us ahead. Take that upper suspension arm out. That uh, steering knuckle can come off. Yeah, the entire side of this car is going to be coming apart. So go back to exam mode and quick look whilst we're here. So what we got? So you can have a quick look at some of these parts whilst we're here see if they need doing I think we're going to be alright for this side yeah I think we're alright to uh, this side even though it's all orange so we'll come to the back corner wheels off. Yeah, that brake drum looks knackered. Take the shoes off, take the drum wheel cylinder off. Solid drive axle needs coming out. of it now. Exhaust all looks okay here. Might as well examine it all whilst we're here because I think we gain, no we don't gain experience for examining. That saves a bit of time in the long run. So we'll right click car status. Yeah, that's everything discovered that needs doing. So, it needs to be 100%, so we need to run down the list and see if we've got any in the inventory. That's going to need separating off. I'm not sure whether these wheels need doing. Does the wheels need doing? Yeah, the rim Chapman rim Chapman so the uh, wheels are going to need separating off as well so we're going to separate parts so I think the tyre itself is okay but yeah that rim is going to need doing I can't believe they're going to put brand new rims on one side of the car and uh, leave the other side but not ours the reason why so I think that oh, we needed that shock absorber separating off as well didn't we in fact I don't think it's worth even separating it looking at the state of that best separate off so we know what we've got all the parts to get take that 
off there. So, like I say, we've got uh, an awful lot of parts to get. Uh, we'll start, check the inventory, head on down to the bottom, because this is what's just come in. Front shock, uh, front shock absorber cap we definitely need, and a front spring. I think we've got two of those in from other jobs, but saying that, they need to be 100%. So let's. Uh, yeah, I don't think we have actually. I think we might have already used them. Got a U bolt there for later on. We've got a solid drive, rear drive axle there. Brake drum there. Yeah, we certainly got some uh, parts sitting around. Now the shock absorber we definitely haven't got. The spring we haven't got. I've got a rear spring, but it's not good enough. Yeah, we found uh, various parts around the scrapyard, etc. So, uh, yeah, made it worth a while. So we need... Uh, do you know, my memory is absolutely terrible. We need a front spring, a front cap, and a double wishbone. So we need a front spring. Type the word shock. We need a shock absorber cap for the front. And we need a double wishbone suspension. Or shock absorber, shall we say. That one, I believe. So that's those bits. Go back to the inventory. There's the new parts. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. We need a solid axle control arm. I said we had one of those rear drive ones. Uh, it's 86. Yeah, got that one there. We've got a U bolt there. Got that control arm, I don't think. Nope. So, solid axle control arm is what we are looking for now. Type in the word control, makes it nice and quick. We're also going to need some more bushings because I noticed we are getting a bit low on them. Six of those in. So that's that one purchased. We need a leaf spring plate, one of those. I only need one U box, so like I said, we've got one of those already. So again, type in the word leaf. We need one of those. We need one of those. And then quickly scroll through. So that's that one purchased, that one purchased. So what we're doing there is just scrapping out whatever's left. We need a rear axle knuckle housing B. Rear knuckle housing B. Rear knuckle housing B. Inventory. Scroll through again. Rear knuckle housing B. We need a brake drum, which I said we got. A front steering knuckle C. Front steering knuckle C. Back onto the infantry. C we've now got. We need an upper suspension arm and a lower suspension arm. So we need an upper suspension arm. We need 
the lower suspension arm. Is it lower or is it bottom? I think it's a bottom one, isn't it? On a double wishbone. Yeah. So we've definitely got the upper, I've just bought that one. But it's a bottom suspension arm. That's the uh, difference. Lower suspension arm. But uh, no, we need that uh, bottom suspension arm. I believe it's the first one. You're looking pretty foolish if it's not now. Bottom suspension arm, that's that one done. We need an inner tie rod, an outer tie rod, a sway link B. Let's uh, go for those. So we go tie inner tie rod, outer tie rod, and then we can type in the word sway and link B. So that's that one done, that one done, and that one done. We need a front axle knuckle cover. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that we've got one of those. We have indeed front axle knuckle cover. Go. We need a brake caliper at 100% and some brake pads at 100% and a ventilated brake disc at 100%, which I don't believe we have now. I think we did have earlier, but uh, they've gone. There's a brake caliper, so we don't need that. So it's just pads and a disc is what we need. 90% pads look, but never mind. Yeah, so we've got the caliper. It's not said anything about the cylinder, I don't believe. So pads and a ventilated disc is what we need. So we'll just click the brakes tab. Ventilate brake disc and a set of pads. Back to our infantry a bit quick. So that's the pads and the disc. Next up is a wheel hub cap. Uh, I don't believe we've got one of those. Wheel hub cap. Again, I'm probably looking for these things uh, several times over. So we need a wheel hub cap. And then I believe that is everything and we are ready to rebuild the car. Oh, we still need those rim trap Chapman 15s. So we're gonna hit that home button, go into the rims, uh, rim, Rim Chapman, size 15s, we need two of those, and that should be everything. So what we're going to do is put that shock absorber together, double wishbone shock, the front spring and the cap can all go together. Whilst that's doing we can put a, a Rim Chapman onto the tires we can then take that off there we can take that get that balanced a bit quick and parts rim chapman and the tire again so yeah it's all uh, all about maximizing your time So at one point we uh, pulled three cars in, uh, three customer cars in, so trying to make the most. It was all relatively simple jobs. But yeah, like I say, we are making some very, very good progress with the game. Building up our levels nicely. We're up to level 15 now, which 
means we can unlock something else, but I think we'll look at that at the end of the video. So we'll take that off there, and that should be all the parts done and together. So we'll click this rear suspension, part mount, start putting the bits in, knuckle can go on, uh, the wheel hub go on. Again, if it uh, doesn't want us to change it, then uh, we won't change it. If it wants it changed, it's not said anything about that. But as we've got three new ones in, I've got to change it anyway. Brake shoes, it's not said anything about. Brake drum, got a nice new one of those that can go on. I don't want to put that wheel on just yet. Put that control arm in. Pushing in. The oops, leaf spring. Or the leaf spring plate. U bolts. So, yeah, there wasn't really too much uh, to do on the back corner, I don't believe. Saying that, I'll probably uh, miss the part putting back on. I'll just uh, double check. Can't see anything there that needs going on. So we move on to the front. got a brand new uh, wheel hub there, front wheel hub, so we might as well put that on, get that uh, bearing in there, got a brand new one of those so they can go on, again if it doesn't exactly need it then uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really surprised it doesn't want those cylinders changed as well. Rough the suspension arm. Get those in, brand new parts. Yeah, it would have been cheaper to buy a new car, I think. of the car done. Indeed it is. So we can get that down. We can uh, find the controls. So we'll take that lifter right out now. We'll be finished with that. Yeah, if we go car status, he's paying £2,800 so far. Not counting the bodywork we've done. So yeah, it would have been cheaper to buy a new car. So we're going to move the car to entrance A. And then we're going to have a little look at parts. I think it's missing parts as opposed to uh, replacing them. Uh, go car status. Repair or replace body parts. So. I'm just going to uh, grab a piece of paper as I can never remember this and going back to forwards is quite annoying so we need the right headlight we need the front right door we need the rear right door we need 
the front right fender. We need the rear right door window. We need the front right door window. And we need a right mirror. So, all for a Bolt Chapman. So we head on to the computer. Uh, hit that home button. We need to find the body shop next. We're going to search up uh, Chapman, if we can spell it right. So we need the right headlight. That's the left one. That's the right one there. Right headlight. That we need the front right door, that's the rear. We need the front right door, that's that one. We need the rear right door, which is that one. We need the front right fender, uh, front right fender, we need the rear right door window. Rear right door window. We need the front right door window. Front right door window. And we need a right mirror. So that should be all of the parts that we need. Let's uh, head on over and start putting it back together. And right click assembly mode. Put that light in there. New light, it's easily done. Put the fender on, or the wing as we would call it. Door, rear door, and the glass in both of those. And we can put that mirror back on. So, I believe that is the car done. So, that all the main parts are done there, all the bodywork's done there, and that is another order done. £3,352 spent, £7,615 or dollars we are getting back in. Like I said, would have been cheaper to buy a new car, but uh, never mind. Finish order, and that is another job done. So, yeah, like we say, that's another job done. We're going to have a quick look at the toolbox to see what experience we've got. We've got uh, one point available to us at the moment. And yeah, we've got a few different bits and pieces that we can buy. We are, of course, looking forward to getting up to level 35 because we want the uh, this one here where you can repair body parts as well as repairing actual parts themselves. And if we can get hold of this one as well, it expands the garage again, adds the paint shop, dyno and another lifter. So we don't really need the lifter, but we want the other two bits and pieces in there. But at the moment, we need to uh, consider our parts. So click this one here, we've got uh, faster screwing and unscrewing. We've got walking faster, which to me, both of those are a waste of time. But there we go, we've got the uh, tire tread tester, which again, it seems a pretty useless tool, but uh, you never know, it may be handy. We've got this one down here, which is extremely handy, and I think it's just where we are going. It unlocks the tablet, allows you to shop for parts anywhere in your garage. You can use it from the Pi menu or by pressing T. So again, that's where we think, think we are going. We've got 100% uh, faster part examination there. We've got uh, faster installing and removing parts. But uh, yeah, I think that uh, tablet is going to be very important to us. So we're going to take that one. And there we go. So, what that does, if we press T now, so normally we would go over to the computer to look at parts. We press T and it takes us straight into the shop and the computer or we can right click 
tablet and again there is the parts so that's uh, done that like I say we will be coming hopefully to this uh, Lincoln 1929 Lincoln very soon we have now fully rebuilt the engine like I say but uh, we shall go into that in more detail but anyway that is going to be it for today hopefully you like the look of the new garage uh, now that we've expanded with the warehouse and all that as well but uh, yeah drop your comments down below if not we can change certain things we can change the bricks we can change the floor change the color of the lifters change the uh, cabinets if need be but uh, yeah I'd say hopefully you have enjoyed today if you have please drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to our channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well but like I say that's going to be it for today's episode thank you very much for watching and we shall see you in the next one bye for now